everybody, it's Tyler here at the Kalahari Middle School event, checking in with 663S Vegan Cheese. Now, as a fellow Wisconsinite, I see cheese heads, and I have to be uh, interested in interviewing this team, so we can't wait to talk more about uh, what this team is and what goes, in, goes into it. Three tournament wins so far, a skills award, too, so a great season, and looking great here at Kalahari as well. Take a look at the rollout. We're going to be doing a full systems overview on this uh, robot, talk about what's gone into the drive, intake, catapult. There's so much to talk about, wings and more. Let's learn more about this team coming up here on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Joey, let's start off uh, kind of going from bottom up. Let's talk about your six motor drive. I see you got some uh, wedges as well too. And then we got to talk about your elevation back. Talk to me more about it. All right, can you lift it up? Thanks. So we have a six motor drive going 600 RPM motors from 36 tooth to uh, 72 tooth gears. Um, that makes 300 RPM drive with four, uh, four inch diameter Omni wheels uh, and then wheels in the center. So um, more accurate programming as well as um, so no one can push us around. And we also have wedges on the front and back just to uh, get our driving more fluid as well as programming. Can you flip it back down? Uh, next is our elevation hook. Cash, can you? Yeah, so we have a piston going underneath our battery here, uh, powering our elevation hook, which uh, we have this angled here to kind of guide the pole in here. By the, uh, so we balance up on the middle barrier, um, and then this hooks around the vertical pole. But this grip um, keep, helps keep us on there and makes us, we don't twist and fall off. Something I want to ask you when you're talking about your drive, you mentioned for uh, helping out with programming as well too. Uh, are you talking about kind of having that more grip wheel so there's less slip in regards to like when you're actually running it? Yeah, so these middle wheels help prevent drift, which is can sometimes be a problem in programming. Uh, so when we're turning, it will slide a little bit and that can offset things. Perfect. Aaron, let's talk about the uh, intake and what you're doing for that on there. Uh, notice the uh, squish wheels that you're uh, doing on there. So talk to me about what's gone into that. Any big changes you made because this is a new robot that you're bringing into this event. All right, so first of all, this uh, intake is 200 RPM. The motor is green, and uh, the two sprockets here is one-to-one. -one. And so the way it works is it intakes, um, and the tri-ball goes in, it sits here. And then once it goes up to the goal, the uh, this catches on the top of the uh, goal bar, and uh, the tri-ball goes under, and this goes above, so the tri-ball gets inserted there, and yeah. I noticed with your rubber bands too, I've seen a lot of teams implement this. Uh, are you getting a lot better grip and hold off of that? Yeah, it helps us grip the tri ball a lot more because it has a lot of corners that sometimes go into like these holes here. Miller, I gotta ask you about your uh, catapult. One thing is when I watched your match, I think you have a very interesting take on how you do match loads where you're actually going all the way into that zone and kind of almost propping your robot up a little bit. Uh, so I'd love to hear about that and some of the match strategy that goes behind that too. Okay, so a lot of our strategy is, it's very offensive and so at the beginning of a match, we will go to our match loading bar and um, shoot the tri balls across the field. And then um, whoever our alliance partner is can push them in to the goal and we can score a lot of points that way. How quickly are you doing match loads typically? Um, we can do about one tri ball per second. Sure. So, so again, through in about like 20 to 25 seconds, that sort of thing? Yeah. Very cool. Um, and I do want to ask you from uh, when I saw your last match, I, I don't know if that's part of your strategy every match, but you did kind of like uh, almost catch your robot up a little bit. Do you typically fire from that position or are you usually like on a stable ground? Uh, yes, we normally fire a little perched up on the match load bar so it's harder to push us off. Very cool. Let's wrap on this robot, talk about your wings and what you're doing. Cash is going to be covering more about that. So, uh, you know, with, with uh, especially middle school teams, uh, I'm so glad to see you are using wings because it doesn't seem like as many teams use that. Uh, so talk to me about what's gone into it uh, and the results that you're seeing out of using them too. Okay, most people may, may, seem, may see the wings as a very boring feature of a robot, as in it really, it, it's simple, but it is effective. 
This is one of our first uses of pneumatics, our second one, and because normally it requires a bit of effort for middle school teams in our school to be given pneumatics as they can be dangerous. These pneumatics allow just push out the wings and the string prevents them from going too far off. We have this which allows us to, adding back on that perching uh, aspect of it, when we uh, perch onto the uh, match load bar, this will almost, turn, turn it to the other side, this will almost hook onto the match load bar, allowing us to further um, be able to face opposition from any teams that might be trying to push us off of the match load bar. And also we have these. So normally, if we do not want to, per, if we do not want to sort of angle ourselves onto the pole because that makes it more difficult to load, then we will release these out, and these will just barely be touching the match load bar, and but still counts as us being on it. So we can launch with more accuracy to the to the net and right in front of it normally. I love the thought process that's gone into this entire robot. So Vegan Cheese, thank you so much for taking time. Tell us more about your team. Congrats on a great season so far. We can't wait to see how you do here at Kalahari and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotics scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash vex to learn more and apply. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.